What's up, Champions fam? It's Zeke Forno, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. And it looks like we are going to be wrapping up The Rock's Legacy Tribute MLC in a truly prestigious and royal way, y'all. Because the official blog and website for WWE Champions has finally been updated, and we now know who the final debuting mega superstar is going to be. And what better way to wrap things up for a legacy tribute month-long contest dedicated to The Rock than with the official debut of the original head of the table, the very first tribal chief and the patriarch of the illustrious Samoan wrestling family, technician legend, Peter Maivia, high chief. When it comes to MLCs, they can be a hit and a miss, but me personally, I say that the Rock's Legacy Tribute MLC has been one solid block of content from start to finish. From the different tours, to the milestone rewards, to the reworking of the show tag links, to the new and improved showdown tournament grind. They've been firing on all cylinders and they have yet to miss when it comes to the phenomenal mega superstar debuts that we've gotten from the brand new V2 Attitude Era Trickster The Rock, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, to Modern era showboat, Naomi, always shine. Followed by the debut of The Rock's father, striker legend, Rocky Soul Man Johnson. And now, to wrap things up with a lovely tribal bow, we are getting the debut of High Chief Peter Maivia, technician legend. A brand new technician, a brand new legend era category rep. His card is already in game, unlockable at four star gold. His move sets look highly versatile and highly dangerous. I can't wait to see that exclusive five star gameplay from the Broskis. Thanks to the good old folks over at Scopely, he has a couple of two MP charge moves and they look deadly. One's a green MP gain. One is allowing him to create an area of color gems. And then the other is boosting all of his gem damage for a set amount of turns. Once we see him maxed out, I can only imagine what this guy's going to do. Is he going to have some heavy hitting moves, especially if they're that low charge? Just like Rocky, Soul Man Johnson, this guy is low charge. And that means more opportunities to fully optimize him trainer wise meaning you don't have to run mp trainers or coaches in certain builds more than likely meaning you're going to be able to go all in especially when you get straps medals and skill plates involved i cannot wait to see how this guy hits i can't wait to see how this guy runs he has an incredible coaching ability Purple submissions dealing 50% more damage and lasting an additional turn. We're rounding out that uh, that coaching ability there. Can't wait to see what's up next or what we're going to go back to and um, close out until we move into a next phase of brand new abilities. He also has a few tag links, legends, and of course, the Inoue My Via Legacy link, gem damage. I've been saying it tricksters technicians and showboats need love and we are getting it we are getting it we got a solid striker in rocky we got a brand new showboat waifu and naomi a new trickster god in v2 rock and now we're getting a brand new legend tech in peter Maivia. this is definitely going to be dope i can't wait to see how this unfolds and you definitely should be on the lookout for that gameplay with three moves already out of the gate with two mp charge the possibilities are going to be endless when it comes to the trainer and coaching combinations that can be ran with this guy especially when you consider perks also being in the equation if you're able to unlock him we're going to have solid opportunities to pick him up loot coins 
able to pick up a poster of him. Obviously, it's going to be RNG shards for him too. We're also going to get opportunities to get additional shards for the hit of the table, Roman Reigns, Modern Era Technician, the Chase Unit. Go ahead and do what you can here. We're going to even have opportunities at skill plates. There's a lot of resources up for grabs here for this uh, for this um, block of content for the Flash Feud festivities. We got the full schedule, so we now know all the requirements and fill bonuses. So this is going to be highly exciting. Solo faction leaderboard rewards to be uh, to be obtained. We're even going to have a community event that's going to be up and running too. So additional goodies there. TP coins. High end rarity tokens to be to be acquired. Legendary straps. Premier bags. There's going to be a lot of goodies up for grabs this weekend. And with feuds being in the mix, this is going to probably make it a whole lot easier for us to all walk out on top. So I strongly suggest get your sleep in and participate as much as possible. And I definitely am stoked to see what High Chief Peter Maivia brings to the table, man. Literally, go to your roster. He is there. Recruitable at four-star gold. We're going to have many opportunities to get additional shards for him. The Mega Superstar loot banner is probably going to be broken OP. There's going to be limited time towards two to do, so manage your time wisely this Mother's Day weekend, of course. You know, priority before pleasure, but have fun and go the distance when it comes to this debut. I am saying this like legit. This has been one of the best blocks of content for me in WWE Champions, and we've had some good ones. You know, the four-year anniversary was pretty fun. We've had some solid things go on with the Hall of Fame uh, Piper scenario too, but I like this type of consistency when you have a theme for MLC and they stick to it. It was a tribute to The Rock, and we just got top tier OP mega superstars during this debut and we had solid opportunities to walk away with a lot of goodies and a lot of solid rewards to benefit our accounts and rosters just by simply having the time and commitment or spending a little cash or a little mix of both at the end of the day, whether you were free to play or pay to play, this MLC se uh, it seemed to be pretty fair to both sides of the community. So I have to give it a solid thumbs up and a true salute. And that rework to the showdown has made it such an enjoyable in experience overall that it makes it worth the grind. It's a lot more worth it now. And, you know, some milestones, the final milestone gaps, yeah, they're a pain in the butt, but that can easily be tweaked. They can always get rid of that, or they can uh, reset the things with the comes to the points, and that way everybody can uh, have a better shot at it. But ultimately, man, the high chief Peter Monty is coming into the game. We got the Rock's father. We got a distant relative in Naomi. We got a brand new Rock, and now we're getting the Rock's grandfather to round this out. That's beautiful. That's beautiful to me. I hope they do this more when it comes to MLCs, where they stick to it. It wasn't no, you know, random throw out superstar where you have like a couple of weeks of MLC where the uh, the characters being launched makes sense to legionses or rivalries to a, to a character that's featured as the free to play or chase. Everything tied in here. Jay Uso as a as a free to play unit. Roman Reigns as a chase champion. The Rock debuting during, of course, the Rock uh, Legacy uh, Tribute MLC. Naomi married to Jimmy Uso. The Rock, uh, the Rock's father, Rocky Soul Man Johnson, and now the Rock's grandfather, the one who started it all, High Chief Peter Maivia. All those characters coming into this uh, game during the Rock's Legacy Tribute MLC. I hope to see more character consistency when it comes to releases moving forward in MLCs, because this was dope. They did right by this, and there are a lot of great opportunities, a lot of great goodies that could have easily been grinded out if you just dedicated your time and effort to it, and a lot of solid overall content and blocks of uh, of situations that helped pass the time a lot easier and were fun. We still had problems. We still had issues with this MLC like any other, but this one was pretty good. This was a pretty good one, and I'm glad that they went this route. I was hoping for either Peter My Peter Maivia or Umaga. We got Peter Maivia and a technician legend, too, called that. I love when that situation happens because you can always be right or you can always be wrong. But when it lines up like this, it doesn't get no better than that. But y'all let me know your thoughts, and trust me, I am hyped to see his gameplay because with three moves right out of the gate that are 2MP, 
the optimization for his trainer and coaching combinations is going to be incredible. Incredible because again, he has a lot, he has a couple area area moves to create different types of gems. So it's going to make it a whole lot different when it comes to different situations, man. I, I can't wait to see what he's able to do, able to beef up gem damage, move damage. This guy is going to be a monster. And with no MPs having to be involved with max perch, straps, medals, and skill plates, this guy could be a whole other zenith of tech dominance moving forward in WWE champions. So y'all let me know your thoughts below. So, hey, yo, bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love always and forevermore to each and every single one of you of my beloved champions fam. Hashtag champions fam. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive all future notifications from yours truly, Zeke 410. And until next time, let's chop it up within the comments below. How far are you going to go? What are your thoughts on Peter Maivia being the last debuting mega superstar within the Rock's Legacy Tribute MLC? I think it's just truly poetic. It's beautiful. And I hope that we see more, you know, cohesiveness like this when it comes to MLCs moving forward. Because that's what it's all about, you know. If you're going to do something about a certain faction, debut all of them all at once. Make it a moment. Make it a memory. If you're going to do something dedicated to a specific era category or, you know, whether it's husbandos or waifus, stick to it. Make it cohesive. Cover which uh, which eras uh, need to be covered. Cover which classes need to be covered. And just do it the right way. And WWE champions did it throughout here. Again, Jey Uso to Roman Reigns to V2 Trickster Rock, Naomi, Rocky Soul Man Johnson, and now High Chief Peter Maivia. All all members of the wrestling of the, of the of the Samoan wrestling family. It doesn't get no better than that. And I'm just grateful that WWE champions were smart and you know did by the book, did right by the book on this. And I hope that we get more blocks of content like this moving forward. But um, with that being said, y'all, flash feuds ahead. A lot of opportunities here. Don't forget to do your limited time tours. Best of luck to you if you decide to pull on the Mega Superstar Loop Banner and go as far as you can in both the solo and faction contest. And if you end up dominating and getting Peter Maivia at four-star gold from the leaderboard rewards, early congrats to you there. But um, good feuding, good pulling, and just have an amazing weekend. Um, happy Mother's Day to all of you siskies out there. And you know what? Salute to everybody. Mad blessings. And until next time, Stay tuned. Peace.